glad to see you here at the 2014 Portland Float Conference. Uh, we've got a presentation up here on the board. This is the uh, Floatus, it's the uh, Float Epsom Salt. Uh, we produced it, uh, first one in 2013. Uh, when we designed it, we uh, found Graham and Ashton and we asked them uh, if they would come and uh, beta test, and they did. And uh, this is what they really look like. My wife came home and found two naked guys in our tanks. So it was kind of interesting. Uh, Graham had said that uh, the tank was very stable, and that's because we have continuous filtration. The equipment actually is running while you're floating. Stops you from ping ponging back and forth, and it allows it to uh, set up. Don't work. About that. And uh, Graham's was outdoor floating. He had it floated outside, and our tank is outside. So that was a nice setup. Uh, my name's Kirk Sullivan, and I'm with San Juan Pools. And I'm Don Tintacuzzi, and uh, I've been in hot water for many years. Uh, I've been in the <laughs> pool and spa industry since I was 15. And, and there since I was yeah, so we grew up in this industry. San Juan Pools was started in Seattle, Washington in 1958. Uh, we grew to a nationwide manufacturer and we produce over 100 pools and spas, uh, both in the commercial as well as the residential industry. And Jason International was started uh, by my family after we sold the Jacuzzi Company in uh, 1980. 1982 we started the company and uh, we uh, as before, we are still leaders in bathing uh, innovation. Uh, we got approached in 2012 by Delta Floats, a float company, and they asked if we could produce a uh, float tank. Didn't really have an industry, didn't understand what it was, but we said, yeah, we can do it. Uh, they wanted it in sections so it could be carried through a door. Uh, they wanted the door to be able to stop in any location in case people were claustrophobic and they wanted to keep the door open. And they wanted it to be heated. And Here's an example. Balled up, plastic coated, ready for shipment on their own pallet. Set up. Take a little tour inside. Has uh, suctions and returns on the side walls. Fiber optic light, main drain. Has a uh, surface skimmer. Nice handle on the inside. It's well as a handle to push against as you're opening and closing the door. San Juan float, Epsom salt float tanks, building the both float tanks in the world, 2013. So what we set up was a rectangular tank that would stop all the wave action. Uh, when you get into a tank, a lot of times it kind of sloshes around for quite a while. And having the hard corners and the uh, ledge that we have underwater breaks that down. Here's the oxygenated float tank, the San Juan Floatus. As you can see it has a plumbing skid. It includes the uh, microsilk as well as the uh, filtration pump. It has a uh, secondary mount with all of your uh, electrical. And then inside has all of your sanitizing. The pump, the filter, the sterilizer, ozonator, ultraviolet light. Here's the tank itself. It's an oxygenated float tank. It has 900 pounds of pharmaceutical Epsom salt saturated in 100 gallons of water. FloatEpsomSalt.com is the website. You can see there's the uh, third and fourth stage that form the roof. Alright, and the way we oxygenate it, Microsoft's tiny bubbles. Um, they reach into the pores. What they do is they gently draw out curtain oil and uh, they increase the skin's metabolism. So here we've uh, made an adapter. I can plug in the uh, outlet. Comes to the end of the hose. You can see how clear the tubing is because you can see through it. Now we'll activate the system. And we'll be able to see the Microsilk coming out of the end of the hose. You can tell it's a totally different color than the surrounding fluid. And in fact, you can uh, kind of impart, allows you to apply the fluid directly to any part of your body. A nice concentrated flow. 
uh, oxygenated Epsom salt. Microsilks, cloud of oxygen energizes skin cells, stimulates the immune system, kills bacteria, promotes healing, and reduces the symptoms associated with eczema, psoriasis, and ketosis. Where two very special guests are here to tell us a little bit about how Microsilk, by Jason Hydrotherapy, has changed the quality of their life for the better. For as long as she can remember, eight-year-old Elena Jones has suffered from eczema. Before finding Microsilk, Elena and her family struggled to find relief for her. This is how Jason Hydrotherapy eased their way. My name is Whitney Jones from Humnoak, Arkansas, and this is my daughter, Elena. Hi. Before the tub, I would put socks on my hands, and I would have to wrap up in a, like a burrito and wear wet pajamas. They always told us, we finally found a doctor who said that they need to be moist. Their skin needs the extra moisture. And so he said to get cotton pajamas, wet them, and then put dry pajamas on top. And they were, she slept in wet pajamas. And she would usually wake up halfway through the night screaming that she was cold. We did that for a long time. We have seen several dermatologists. I think we started that when she was six months old. Um, we have an allergy doctor who we love. Um, we have seen pediatrician after pediatrician. We have, we have seen anybody that would see us that we thought could help. And they have um, given us creams, ointments, medicine to take by mouth. It's just, we've tried everything. And as I was opening the book back up, I saw the words eczema and psoriasis, and those aren't words that you see in a bathtub book. And so I began to read a little closer. And it said that there was a technology called Microsilk that was brand new, and it had been shown to be effective to help in eczema. I had never seen anything like it, and I was very intrigued. And I started to cry because we had been through so many doctor's appointments, so many creams, so many heartbreaks over something working and then it quit. And it seemed like the answer and we ordered one. So I was sort of skeptical. I wanted to make sure before I spent the money that it was gonna work, but I had hope. And we put her in the tub, we ran it for a 20 minute cycle. We took her out and her skin looked like it had actually never looked before. It was milky white, the redness was gone. The patches of dry were gone. The doctors told us <clears throat> that we needed to concentrate on keeping her skin moist, which is almost impossible with um, eczema patients because they don't, they don't make the ceramide, and so their skin doesn't naturally hold its own moisture. <coughs> so it's very difficult. If you put lotion on a child's hand that has eczema, it's gone within minutes. It doesn't hold it. They also told us it's very important to keep it clean because infection is horrible and we dealt with that a lot. And they also said that for her to be able to sleep, she needed to be able to relax. And relaxation was not ever there without, you know, before the tub. Um, and the micro soap tub checks off all three. It moisturizes the skin, it deep cleanses the pores with very little soap, maybe not even any, and it relaxes her like I've never seen, no medication has relaxed her like the tub has. Thank, Thank you, you Jason. Jason. So I, I found Microsilk and uh, I installed it on our float tank and I had an accident and I had a huge bruise on my leg ran the microscope back and forth on my leg, and in two days, all the bruising disappeared. I was just amazed at how quick it healed me. You can do both active and passive healing. You can actually just sit in there and bond yourself, or you can float in the solution as well. Thank you.
dump tank right here. We took it to a uh, medical medical convention, and uh, we set up next to a guy who was a Nobel laureate in magnesium. We started talking about the float tank and how you're absorbing and relaxing. And he found it very interesting, but he said, hey, you know, when you're floating, only half of your body is actually touching the fluid. So it's moisturizing it, it's cleaning it, and it's doing good things, but it's only doing it to half your skin. So I started talking to him about, well, what could we do and how could we do it different? We decided, well, instead of uh, just doing the lay down version uh, in your typical float tank, we would kind of mess with tradition. We kind of already did that by oxygenating the Epsom salt. So came back from the uh, convention and uh, made a stand up version. You tried to put yourself all the way under so that your neck is showing. You pop up to the top like a cork. San Juan Flotus, building the best float tubes in the world. <laughs> so as you can see, we're always willing to experiment. We're always looking for something new and exciting. I'm Kirk Sullivan. I'm Dante Jacuzzi. And we're San Juan Flotus. <laughs>